Hi, it's Jen from Blue Beach House Art. I've put together a short video to show you how easy it is to blend colours in acrylics using only water. Anyway, if you think this video is helpful, please let me know by leaving a comment. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get started. Blending colours with acrylics using only water. I start with a mix of cobalt blue and white. I mix it to a consistency a bit like a melted ice cream or a milkshake. If your paint is too dry when you apply it to the canvas it will look like this. It's called dry brush effect. I'll dip my brush into the water then swirl it around in the paint mix and load it up with more colour. Always use broad, firm strokes across the canvas and don't forget to cover the top and sides. Next I'm going to add some white and a touch of yellow to my cobalt blue mix and I'm going to apply it to the canvas beneath the first layer leaving a little space of white in between. Now dip your brush in the water, swirl it around in the paint mix and then load it up with paint again. Then starting on the lowest layer, I brush up towards the darker first layer using broad firm strokes. Keep brushing until the colour change disappears. Then I'll repeat the process adding more yellow and white and dipping my brush into the water, mixing it around so I can keep that milkshake consistency. Keep repeating this process until you get to about a third of the way down the canvas which will be our horizon. You can see I stroke my brush all the way across the canvas and I keep it continuously moving at a fairly brisk pace. The horizon will be our palest tone as this is the furthest point from the viewer's eye. Now would be a good time to wipe your palette clean. The next colour block is yellow and white, but I'm going to make it slightly brighter than the previous one, so slightly less white. If the paint's beginning to dry out, it may start to feel a bit sticky. If this happens, just quickly dip your brush into the water and then keep going. If it gets so sticky that the paint begins to lift, then leave it alone, don't touch it and let it dry. We can go back over it again later to fix any problems. Next I'm going to add some turquoise, but you could also use a cool green. When I'm choosing colours to blend, I try to stick to ones that are fairly close together on the colour wheel. Otherwise I'm just going to end up with brown or grey. If you feel you have too much of one colour, you can fix that by continuing to push the colour beneath further up the canvas. You can push the colour a little bit further if you dip the brush into the water and then continue to the blend. No more paint at this time. Never try to go back and fix it when your paint's half dry. Always leave it to dry completely and then go back over it again. When you have quite a dramatic colour change, it can take a bit more blending. To do this, dip your paint brush into the water, but don't add any more paint and keep pushing up towards the colour above. If you find your colour blocks are too wide, try using a narrower brush. Thallo blue is the darkest tone that I'm going to add to the canvas today. Sometimes with the more transparent colours, your brush strokes might still be visible. If this happens, try easing off on the pressure of the brush or wait till it's dry and go over the area again. Now we're going to start walk working towards the lighter colours again. But because these ones are in the foreground, we want them to be a bit more vibrant. So try adding a bit less white. Too much water on your brush may lift the paint from the canvas. If this starts to happen, leave it and keep going. We can always fix things like this later. Okay, it's time to clean the palette again and then start with a mix of yellow with just a smidgen of white. 
a smidgen, yeah, I guess that's just a little bit. It's my technical term. Once you get to this point, if the top of your canvas is dry, then turn it upside down and we'll do the final colour block, which is the sand. To make the sand colour, we're going to add a touch of crimson to our yellow and white mix and also a touch of blue, which will dull the colour a bit to more of a natural sand looking colour. Don't forget the top and sides, or actually the bottom and sides. And we're done. Once dry, you can go over the whole canvas again to fix any mistakes and remove any transparency. Oh, just before you go, I wanted to let you know that the background I've created here today will form the basis of a short course I'm working on called Simple Seascape Painting. This is a brand new course and anyone who signs up to my Early Bird VIP email list will be offered the course at a substantially reduced price that will never be repeated. They will also get lifetime access to any future upgraded versions of the course. If you're interested in finding out more about it, please join the Early Bird VIP email list by visiting bluebeachhouseart.com. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.